All right, here we are. The uh, much requested view of the Ruby 2 finale. Joining me are Brendan, whom you've met before, and Rob, whom you've never met before. Uh, and they're going to help me do this. So, the finale. Or I guess the last two episodes, because yeah. I didn't really cover the one before that. But We're going to go very... We'll, 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 we'll summarize it, because there's a lot that goes on in that, in that second to last episode. I mean, you got the, the whole thing with the train, which was... <laughs> kind of weird. His explosion. I loved it. It was like an old western movie, you know, it had like dynamite on the train. Yeah. Every cut just dis detaches and just blows a hole in the thing with the Grim chasing him. To let the Grim into the city, which ended up being... Well, we'll get, we'll get into that. Yeah. Very, got... very interesting train design that they can, from the engine room, detach every <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of weird. Cart. Uh, we got Dr. Ublek's weapon, which... Looks like Bowser Jr.'s paintbrush from Mario Sunshine if you stuffed a flamethrower into it. Yeah. And if that liquid was flammable, I don't think he was drinking coffee. I think he was drinking liquor. He was, drink <laughs> he was drinking gasoline. <laughs> it's the only way he can stay that active pretty all much, the time. Pretty much. Uh, but, uh, how did, but I guess the, a big question aside from what, his, what is, exactly is his weapon, how did he know to hit Zwei like that? Yeah, how did Zwei know to jump into the air and ball himself? It's, it's... You ready? You ready? Anime logic! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So, the big, big f fight of this episode is we got... Well, actually, before that, I need to discuss, the, again, the fact that what is the point of having these robots if a dog being batted across a train can just take it out? And yet yeah. before, when they were fighting it on the bridge, they could do nothing against it. Oh no, they could take it out. Which I mean, is... It took them a while, though. They yeah, but no, but that, 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 was my, that was my point in the review, though, is that if, the, if these robots can get taken out by four girls that are still in training, when they're designed to take, like, massive hits on these giant grim, like, what's the point? Yeah, I mean... Like, there's no point to these robots if, if they can't even do what they're designed to do. Oh, but... Yeah. But the but the the big fight thing for this was the gauntlet where each girl had to, their own nemesis. Yang was with Neo, Weiss was with the White Fang Lieutenant, and Blake was with uh, Roman. Can I talk about how much I love Neo and how sadistic? What the fuck is Neo? <laughs> Neo? What is Neo? Neo is the best anime trope. <laughs> that is what Neo is. I did. She's just. Uh. She, it's like she she can predict like every move that's being thrown at her. I could I tell mean, the second you know, I saw her the first time she appeared what kind of character she was. I, well, I don't based know, solely I don't on know design because so. she's because she is an anime troll. Yeah. <laughs> this character, who apparently is not based on Sheena, as she informed me herself, um, but is her she's got eyes that change colors when she blinks or like they go. To I think different... it's to do with her diff or her emotion, oh. depending on what her current emotion or state of. Oh, maybe. Yeah, um, probably. Yeah. Um, but that fight gets broken up by a mysterious woman who we find out in the last episode is Yang's mother. Called it. We'll get into that. I think the whole <laughs> internet called it, but we'll get into that. Weiss kicked ass. Like, seriously, everyone talks about Yang and Blake's fight, but Weiss did freaking awesome until the guy grabbed her out of the air, which I call bullshit on that. Yeah. You can call it bullshit all you want. It still happened. It still happened, <laughs> but it's still bullshit. And then... Blake knocks Roman the fuck out. Yeah. That, that, that like curves it him. Off. Still, still giving sass head. the entire time. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking it's part of what makes Roman. Good. It's it's. I love it. Yeah. I I don't understand why Roman is involved with all this. Well, he doesn't even know why he's he involved. He doesn't even know. He's never often informed as to yeah. why he's involved. <laughs> so that's he's just that, going with it because yeah. he can. So, so that, he didn't give a shit about breaking the time that they had set for the, yeah. the whole. But it, which leads to the train arrives somehow in Vale. Like, how did they know exactly where that train was going to go? Well, the, it would kind of explain briefly that oh, okay. it was. But the they had, he also explained that they sealed off the tunnels. Yeah, yeah. How did they get through that? They the robots, must have, I guess. They must have put un Max. somehow unsealed it. But the, the Grim breakthrough, and for the first time in probably a million years in Vale, attacking people, even though we never really see them attack anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and that leads into the final episode. A massive cliffhanger for this big final battle that's you, over in about four to five minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, which amasses yeah. to about. Not even a third, a quarter of a third the episode. Of the episode. It's about yeah. a third of the episode. <laughs> and for as massive a cliffhanger as I mean, this is the Grim are in Vale. That's big. For something that big, you'd expect a little bit more than that. 
You know what I mean? It all amounts to what Monty does best, which is a series of awesome action sequences. It was. Uh, the, you know what? The finale but, really was was just tying up a, a bunch of loose points throughout the series, like Jean improving, you know, um, Coffee's thing. Coffee! Yeah, coffee was, who went the, obviously, Coffee was the best part of the fight. The alternate <laughs> takes for the dance sequence. Yeah. Um, the, whole th the, whole, the, whole thing with, the whole thing with Ironwood and the Atlas soldiers. Mm. Fucking Ironwood, by the way, pisses me off. Yeah, I well, did not he, like him right he, off the bat. He jumps the gun so hard, he might as well be dry humping it. <laughs> like, the thing is, too, he, is that as much as as much as he is, you know, thinking he's doing the right thing, he's making a power play here. Yeah, he's he not only singularly put himself in such a you know a, a amazing position to do mm. pretty much whatever he wants. He's now also putting. Um, he's now also putting. Wow, names. Uh. Uh, Ozpin. Ozpin into, you know, question of his, his role at uh, Beacon. But uh, it's... So it, all these things at once has completely rolled he into his He favorite. basically made the decision not to trust Ozpin. Yeah. yeah. After going on that whole spiel about how he's trusted him for years, he, he consciously made the decision, I don't trust him anymore. Ironwood is your stereotyped military guy. He... he Thinks what he's doing is the right thing, yeah. and he's always making a it's, power play. It's good. It's good. Fuck him. The show of military force is the only way to go for him. Yeah, I mean, and as a result, it puts him in an interesting position where he has to be the one calling the shots, yeah. or he can't trust other people. It's it's gonna. And it's now gonna, it just so happens to be the one running security for yeah. that big huge event. Yeah, yeah I which mean, you see it right off the bat when he just shows up in Vale with his entire military force. Yeah. It's like okay, the, well, this is the guy. That well, Cinder clearly, Cinder force. clearly scares him. Yeah, is Cinder clearly what, what she's planning? Whatever it is. Yeah, we which, have no oh idea still. No, no, let's <laughs> let's get into that tangent, okay? So we get into that right now because I can go off. Fuck it, <laughs> fuck it let's go. So. Cinder's, again, I asked this in the review, at the end of the finale, I can honestly still say I have no idea what her no endgame is. No fucking clue. The, the beginning of the final Even episode... with our infinite knowledge of tropes and just multiple anime stories and structures that we've watched, I have no freaking clue! The, the, the episode <laughs> opens where it's like, it seems like this was supposed to happen, but it happened a few days early. Uh, so, and then it cuts to them coming into the city to help fight? Yeah. I mean, Mercury goes in and we see Emerald fighting finally, which is pretty Woo. cool. Yeah. She's, she's, got like a, she's got like an old western kind of style with the guns and stuff. Reminds me of Nisha. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you see them pushing Torchwick into the ship. And then at the end of the, at the, end of the episode, Cinder's like, well, that all went according to plan. How? Uh, how did that go according to plan? Want me to what was the plan? Want me to explain her plan? What was her, plan? her plan is steal as much dust as we can. We don't need dust. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What? Bring the Grim into Vale. Kill all of the Grim. <laughs> what? I don't... Have your own men arrested and yeah, kill yeah, off yeah. members of the White Fang that don't want to fight for you anymore. Yeah. That is her plan. Apparently. Uh, it's yeah. Going to I mean, Roman, Roman's laughing now, but three uh, months later when he's still in there, he's going to realize Cinder's not in any hurry to break him out. Yeah, when he's still in prison and nothing is being accomplished because she never filled him in on anything. Nothing! She filled Mercury and Emerald in, apparently. And though, I do wonder if she uh, did... And just not shown on screen, um, if she did fill him in that yes, we want you to end up in jail because when he's he, yeah, when he's the arrested, way, he's like oh no, no, that, no, yeah, no, no, no the way he is the way he's acting yeah. for that and trying to talk to Ironwood <laughs> into like helping him out tells you that he knows a little bit. He has no idea what the end game is. No, no I don't no, think Cinder no. knows what the end game is. <laughs> it's, it's, Miles, Carey, and Monty don't know what the end game I is. I don't know that. what. Sorry. I mean, it, it, it's it's <sighs> just it's it makes no sense. I can't follow this. Like it just it just seems like she's just doing the things. It's like it's like the, it's like Joker mentality. Yeah. Like she's just doing things. She just wants to watch them. the world burn. Exactly. I feel like once, she has no idea how she wants it to burn. I feel once all the pieces fall together, it'll make sense. It probably will. I mean, it did, and it'll it be did. like, oh well, duh. Well, I mean, but we don't have those key elements no, that make it all yeah. together. No, it, it won't be oh duh because we're two seasons in and they haven't given the first clue as to her end game. Yeah. Yet. I mean, all I know is they have a lot of dust. They could be junkies. Like, yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I mean, we found out that the reason her outfit glows is because she stitches dust into her clothing. But what does it mean? What is it, what's the point of it? Exactly. It's, it's just... Uh. It's like they're giving teasers of clues that they'll show it's you eventually three show. or four years. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, it's just, like, it's, it's not just, I just, to anything yet. It's just some, like some consistency is all I want here. It's, I don't, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I don't think I'm asking too much here. Ugh. Um, now, in terms of the, the actual, like the finale, finale, okay. I, I, I do come at that, like I, I said before, is right. I am kind of left wanting more out of it. You yeah, have this, sure. you have this short, very well choreographed, very well animated fight sequence, and then the rest of the episode, you're it's you're like, feeling like the characters are feeling like the characters are like, it. did we yeah. did we yeah. actually <laughs> solve anything, or did we just unlock Pandora's They're left disappointed. Box. I'm left disappointed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm. For the most part, they accomplished nothing, and now half of the citizens of Vale are terrified because yeah. the room had just broken. I mean, it definitely it definitely puts the citizens on alert. And it also gave Ironwood power, yeah. because he was able to come in with show which, of military which force be, and take control. Which could be part of the plan. It like, easily could, could so be. It's just, I guess the pacing of it, just it, you yeah. had all this going on, and then, and then it, just, it completely just sloped, and, and it was just very I mean, you have, you have Coffee doing great, you have the Solars doing great, you have Sun and Neptune showing up doing jack shit. <laughs> and where's the rest of their team, may I oh, add? What's, okay. <laughs> you have Sun and Neptune showing up for a brief moment of comedic relief. Here's the, here's, all right. Dude, you're the here's, here's the question I have. What was the point of giving Sun a team if we're just going to show one guy? He could, yeah. They could have easily just gone, hey, this is my buddy Neptune from out of town. He's coming to visit for a little while. And they could have just done that. And the way that they... Like, Sun, like, the first time I saw Sun, I'm like, this, this doesn't look like the kind of guy who would fight in a team. No. Also, when they first introduced him in the first season, he, see, he was a stowaway. Yeah, he was by himself. There. Clearly, yeah. he wasn't showing up in Vale as part of, like, the big meetup from the different schools. Yeah, so it's, it's like he could have just been a guy So what was he didn't have so to be what, attending a hunter the, school. So what the fuck was the point of c combining this team around him? Like, th there's... You, you could if you wanted to if you wanted to give Carrie a character <laughs> <Spit it out. laughs> yeah. if you wanted to give Carrie a character just give him a character you don't need to invite two mystery people to go along with it and she'll on screen for yeah. um, I mean, less than a second I mean, yeah. I, I get, <laughs> that was like a quarter of a section at most I, mean, I get maybe they don't have voice actors for those characters yet but then Even still. Fox and Yasuhashi don't have voice actors either and they still did fine I mean it's like yeah. it's it's so oh, side note, just side note on that, just not side note on that, Ashley is Coco, and if that's not perfect casting, I don't know what is. <laughs> uh, oh, and I totally called Coco having a minigun, by the way. Like, I knew that straight out. And of course, they freaking tease the entirety of the fandom with, um... With the ship names? Well, the, the, the no, ship yeah, names, but I'm talking about also the, the, not yeah. showing your weapon. Oh, no, showing you will get that balls. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't waste the, it here. What's in the box? <laughs> what's in the fucking box? <laughs> it's your girlfriend's head. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess... Spoiler. I, I guess I'll yeah. I, I want to go on this character rant real quick, because I talked about this last night. Mm -hmm. We went really in-depth with characters this season. We know that Ruby and Yang grew up on an island. Weiss has an older sister. Blake grew up on the outskirts of the kingdoms. Neptune was from Haven, Sun's from Vacuo, Jean has seven sisters and yet still can't talk to women for whatever reason. She's in Dan from the dress, though. We found that out. Pyrrha is, Pyrrha is like the champion regent of Mistral. Who the fuck are Ren and Nora? Yeah. Though, like I said, they're, they at least have one nod but to it, something to do with Ren. I, we do have something about Village, but after two volumes, I should know something about them other than one's a psychopath and the other's stoic as hell. You know who I want to know more about? Not just them. I want to know about the villains. We know nothing about nothing the villains. Nothing about Cinder, nothing about Mercury, nothing about Emerald. We, know, we, guess... don't, we don't know anything about Roman either. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. We, know that he, we know that he's wanted as a thief. Yeah. But, but other than that, like, that's not a backstory. We don't know anything about Neo. We haven't even heard Neo speak yet. We know... I don't think we ever will. I don't think we will. <laughs> Neo doesn't need And then going into no. villains... They need somebody new to bring in the White Fang, to lead the White Fang, and they bring a character in, and surprise! It's Adam! Not it, a surprise. It, it, it definitely fit that Adam would be the leader if of the If it sounds like Fang. I'm not happy about this, it's because I'm not! No. I don't like Adam! I mean, just from what Blake was saying earlier in the season, it made perfect sense that Adam would be yeah, the leader of, of the White Fang yeah, that turned them up. into from a nonviolent protest I, group to, to, to an I, I need to I need to talk about this on camera because this is a rant I have been sitting on one quick since thing the black trailer. One quick thing that you do before that, yeah. it, it kind of it it was it wasn't really a surprise that that like oh no. he shows up he's back yeah no. they've been they've been hinting at it the entire yeah. yeah. no they they been have, you know they've been doing that but here's the thing on Adam. I've, been, I've wanted to rant on this in Review 1, the review, 
I didn't because I wanted to wait until he appeared in the series proper. Adam to me is... Adam almost killed Ruby for me before the show even premiered. Like, never mind the fact that I think his voice acting is not that good, but his, the whole purpose of the, like the whole focus of the Black Show is basically on him. Yeah. Like, I, Bla did, Blake was a Blake was a background character in her own fucking trailer. The Black Trailer was definitely my least favorite, probably because. Oh, of I think Adam. I think everybody I think it's everybody's least favorite. Right. Like a lot of people don't like that trailer no. for good reason. I remember, the, like, I remember when it aired. Me and Kyra watched it, and we were both just like, eh, "That was kind of crappy." Yeah, I mean, Ruby and Weiss, you, they have no commentary for them. But, Weiss's trailer starts off with spoke, a voice coming off from like announcing on a yeah. stage. But th but they, their but, actions spoke for their characters. Their actions I mean, and I, their songs. I understand. Which I understand what like Blake's role is more of like a shadowy background kind of role. And now this, the trailer was meant to, simplify, uh, to show that. I understand that, I just don't agree with how they did it. Yeah. They could have just as easily done it with her as the main focus they of the trailer, they but her yeah. having it like more of a yeah. stealth-like like, fighting Yeah, it, it, wasn't Bla it wasn't Blake's trailer, it was fucking Adam's trailer. And I'm sorry, but if, it's a sh if I'm going to watch a show about the four girls, I want to see the trailers on the four girls. I don't want to see some mask-wearing mask jack-off who sounds like he smoked an entire Marvel factory before he came out to play. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, I know the voice actor's really good friends with the Rooster Teeth guys, but is this really the best we could do? You have an amazing voice acting, a voice talent, and the, the, this. It is weird that I know like a, a lot of the, at least a few of the trailers, they, they kind of just they they uh, tie in and kind of you know sort of put like either kind of backstory stuff or like what happens right before the show yeah. starts. So I get what they did with the trailer because it shows her breaking away from the White Fang and and yeah. you know what she explained near the end of the season yes. why she. Became right. a huntress, yeah. but I get that. But at the same time, it did take away from yeah. introducing. Her I character. mean, yeah, introducing her character, and all, instead, of what we get is a, a fucking Kamehameha wave. But yeah, it's, but it's back, just scary. Back to you yeah. know his appearance in the finale. I mean, okay, I will say this: <laughs> I will give him a chance in the series proper. Yeah. I will go into it with an open mind, because you know people didn't like Blake's voice acting at first, and now Aaron's one of the. Aaron's one of the best voice actresses they've got. Yeah. People didn't like the voice acting in the yellow trailer either. Nah, the yellow the trailer was a little more forgiving. It I was, felt. but it still wasn't. But it still wasn't. It still, I mean, it still wasn't well, I mean, as good a quality as yeah, the show well, itself. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, Melsha and Melody, I, I wasn't yeah. a and then, fan but of. If you go to the re... And just quickly going back to in the, in the reappearance of that club and those characters, yeah. it just seemed a lot more seamless at that point. Oh, it's so, no, yeah. So the, given with that, I'm... I'm I'm gonna give hope for. I'm gonna Adam give. I'm gonna. Here. I'm gonna give him a chance. And if you think of him as a character itself, like he, he he's, he's an interesting. He has a lot of interesting. interesting. Just very. There's a lot yeah, there. I think. I think there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of depth to him. I think if they can get it out of him. You know, with all of the enemy tropes that they have pulled so far, I can expect that they will have an entire episode dedicated to flashback of the progression of Adam as a character I would love through to see Blake's it. I would, eyes. I would love to see that, honestly. And watching him go as, like, this harmless protester into yeah. the leader of the White Fang that brought them into... Well, we don't know if he's actually the leader, criminals. but... Yeah, no, I know. I would like to see that. No, I mean, they specifically said, oh, you know... The White Fang. Yeah, yeah, they'll listen, okay. listen to me. Yeah, but... So... Yeah. Okay, um, I guess the last thing to talk about would be the, the after credit scene. Oh, right. We gotta talk about the after credit yeah. scene. Yeah. Call the it. fact, what? Called it. Yeah. Well, everybody <laughs> called it. I mean, the the everybody knew it was gonna be Yang's mom. Personally, I was kind of holding out for Blake from the future because I thought it opened up a lot of interesting avenues. I was hoping it would be Blake's older sister or mother. Well, that could work too. Because although I will say, I will say, yeah. I will say that the fact that it takes place in a dream still opens up some interesting opportunities. Like, ooh, dream travel and all that. Yeah. You never know what her mom's semblance yeah. power could be. Yeah, it I don't could, know. It could, could have to do with, like, the mother, the subconscious or something. I mean, I think it's, it is an interesting perspective on Raven. I guess, is her name? Is that her name, um, Raven? I think so. Yeah. Anna Hallam being the voice actress for her. It's... I'm curious. I mean, her appearance is very interesting. Her weapon is very interesting. What she can do is very interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 going to be interesting to see where they take it. I'll, I'll say that. Mm. 
how, well, how can she communicate through dreams? That's something I'm very curious to know about. Do, again, as, as Rob mentioned, I, I, it's probably something to do with her or her side. Yeah. Yes. Which, uh, yeah, I still have no idea how those work, but we'll get there eventually, <laughs> I'm sure. But, uh, anything else we need to talk about? Um, I mean, that, that's about it. It covers it and then some. Yeah, that's, I mean. that's about it. Did, did, did I like the finale? Yes, could have been better, definitely. But, I mean... That's the thing too. What like, finale? As, what as, finale can't you say that about? Yeah, as much as I was a little, uh, you know, a little kind of just wanting more of it, I did enjoy the finale. Yeah, it was, just, it was the season. The volume was definitely a lot more a weird, solid. It was a weird tempo to end it on. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's definitely, it, it kind of actually, it definitely did kind of fit the tone of the volume. I will say, it fit kind of the character progression and fit kind of how the story was going along. It, it leaves. A lot more questions and answers. A lot more to be desired. A lot more, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> of wanting to know. Yeah, lot, but yeah. I mean, I feel like overall, I felt it was a fitting end, I guess? See, <clears throat> I have issue with it. Not so much the ending itself, but it's more of an issue overall with Ruby. It's something Bernie brought up on the po on the Rooster Teeth podcast back when Lost was still on the air. Uh-huh. So this was a long time ago, but where he talked about if there was a movie series and every se and like one movie came out every year and each movie gave you as much information as a as like an episode or a season of Lost did, you wouldn't go back for the next movie. No, yeah. no. Ruby is essentially following that. They aren't giving you anything. Dude, no. the, the way the way that it's shot and released online as a series is one thing when it's put out on a DVD, it's like Red vs. Blue, where it's right. essentially a movie that they put out in a few minute chunk every yeah. week. What, what's the time going to be for this, set for this season? It's going to be like... A lot longer than the first volume. That's three hours, I would say. Yeah, so, I mean, it's... Like it, 12 episodes, each one 16 and 15 minutes? I'd say about three hours. Yeah, probably like two and a half, three something, hours. Something like that, yeah. But Whereas like, the first one was like, two. what? It was, was two. It two. But we're two movies in now, essentially, and they haven't given us anything. No, it's been a lot of setup. It, it's been a lot of setup, a lot of character like character development, which, which is, I'm okay with. Which, which yeah, I, I like. They're not drinking too much during the series. No, no, but, but, but there's still so many unanswered questions. Nothing has happened. No. It, well, I think. It's. I think. Well, I think it's at the point now where something needs to happen. Yeah. Like okay, we like I can free like I could now, volume two I can forgive it if it's more character driven if not much is happening volume three is definitely where they need to yeah. step it up if by the end of volume three we don't have at least a good idea of oh, what's going on of the enemy's plan of Cinder's plan yeah. and like some backstory on them and where they came from yeah I'm probably not going to come back for season four okay. It, I, I mean, I, I mean, I stuck with Lost all six years. I think I could stick through just about anything. But I mean, I, I do think I'd be very they, surprised if they didn't. Yeah, they no, have this, they have this all perfectly set up for themselves now. Yeah, yeah they, they, they can do whatever do. they want with it. They, which is I why I'm willing to give it the third season. Yeah, but if by the end of that they still haven't given us anything, yeah, they, I, I they want to give them to, the benefit of the doubt. They need I to really start picking do. it up. They definitely need to start picking it up. They need to just give us something to go off of. I understand they like I a big thing of the story was they wanted a lot of speculation. We need to start moving past that now. You yeah. gotta you gotta give us something. Now that we're two volumes in. Yeah. We I think we I think we've earned just a little bit a couple answers. Just just yeah. a couple. I mean, I'm not asking for huge reveals. I'm just asking for a couple clues. I mean, it's something to give us some solid. This isn't ten little roosters. You yeah, can yeah, afford to give solid. us something. Yeah, yeah, solid. Something to give us some solid ground. Yeah, to stand up. Going go back to Cinder's plan, that one thing I forgot earlier was she stole military information during the party. Did, is that what she did? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know yeah, she was. What kind of implied. information did know, she get? I didn't know if she was stealing information or if she was uploading a virus or what the no, fuck. Yeah, was it doing. was implied she was it, stealing military information. Okay. Yeah, but like, what information for what purpose? Like, well, I mean, if, if we find out is, what information it is, I could at least have well, this, some idea. Well, this is this is something I saw on Tumblr. Is that Torchwick's character is based off a character from Pinocchio, the one who yeah. kind of corrupted Pinocchio on the island of whatever the fuck it was. The island of Lost Boys. Yeah, and kind of told him to break the rules. Roman is now in a place where Penny is, which could potentially be in relation to that. Maybe they still have information on Penny or, or, Ro or the robot creation or something like that. It's entirely possible that's just speculation at this point. I mean, they were already able to get their hands on a gi on multiple giant mechs that Atlas's well, that, that's military a, had just that, finished making. Well, that's so. a that's a fucking plot hole in itself. Yeah. but <laughs> I mean, 
But yeah, I'm curious to see where it goes. Overall, Ruby Volume 2 definitely a step up, but they need to start less with character stuff and more with the actual plot. I think we're at that point now. We, I mean, for the most part, we know who these characters are right now. Let's, so let's start pushing the story forward a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, yeah I think so. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Later.